on my way to London. Oh, hey! So there's two. So if you can see the camera that I've got, I need to remember to look here. If you can see the camera I've got, it's like this small. This is Lisa's bad boy. She's taking me, she's dropping me off at the metro to go to London. And, and let's go! going around the corner to the metro. A massive backpack on because I have no idea how to hold a camera, a suitcase and my handbag. Okay. And I'm having to like multi-outfit here because it's freezing here but apparently in London it's 22 degrees in sunshine. Oh. Are you gonna miss me? I am gonna miss you. Party! Hey, <laughs> <Okay>, bye babes! <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> I love you. In the stillness somewhere above The city lights you're falling in love Still aware you know it is true That you are lost and this is a clue I'm now in Newcastle Central Station and I've got a three hour journey ahead of me to London so I'm going to see my sister Amy and I honestly cannot wait to get there. Uh. Latte, which is like my absolute favorite tree and I don't know if you saw the guy's tattoos but they're absolutely amazing and I said do you mind if you're in the vlog and he's like no go for it so I've got him in he looks fab and I am so ready for this trip now not gonna lie I am not missing the whole getting on the tube thing it is a bit of a nightmare so I actually used to live here for three years this is like a really really long time ago and I absolutely loved living here but I definitely love living by the sea it's a lot more calmer not as much chaos going on but I'm really excited to be back just 
arrived at Amy's house finally and I am so glad that I swapped from that long sleeve. Do you remember I was saying that it was so hot? I'm so glad that I made that outfit change because it's absolutely boiling here. It's almost like living in a different country. It's crazy. So I had a great two hours on the train. I love being on the train. There's just something so, I don't know what it is. What is it about being on the train? I just love it. I caught up with a few of my clients because I've got some in-person sessions next week. I love meeting with clients in person. Doing lots of mapping things out, lots of just generally having a good time. Um, but now for the weekend, it's just me, Amy and Pete and we are gonna have a proper zen time. Young, and we didn't want to be exposed Even though it was cold We've just come out to get some photos because Amy's runs her own blog which is all about art, activism and travel I'm hoping I've got that right Is that right? Oh, I haven't got it right! What is it all about? Art, activism, life, travel Oh, Amy! <laughs> Sorry guys, it's art, <laughs> Travel, I travel, and people. We had each other, oh, everything was black and white. We're driving in a car, never knowing how far we go. When we were younger, oh, when we were younger, days made me go wild. When we were younger, we were never. going to a plant shop. What's the shop called, Amy? Hawker House. So we're going to a place called Hawker House to buy some new house plants and I love that because I'm a really big believer that your environment really impacts how you feel. So I'm so pleased that I get to be part of helping them make, make their lovely new house a home. When we were younger, we were never running out of time. As long as we had each other, oh, everything was black and white When we were younger So they've chosen three different plants each And that shop was so lovely, look at them here in the background And you guys know that I talk about this all the time I really, really believe that we are perfect as we are I believe that a lot of the work that we need to do is really in blossoming and flourishing and growing into all we were born to be and the way that we actually do that is by creating an environment where we can flourish and so simply by making our physical environment our home feel like somewhere where we just feel like ourselves and we feel happy and we feel alive and inspired is so important so i'm so glad i got to come along with these two and just help them build up their home into a place where they can just flourish and the plants, wow, how gorgeous was that shot? Maybe this is a little challenge for your weekend. If your home isn't currently inspiring you and making you feel good and making you feel connected, maybe you could spend a few hours just really turning it into somewhere that makes you feel like you. So what's the plan for tonight? Um, okay, so we're just gonna, we're gonna put these at home, give them a little home, give them a little water, um, and then I think we're gonna nip straight back out. We will probably head to the pub. Yeah, let's head to the pub, have a drink, get some food. Oh, they've got amazing board games in there, so we'll play a few board games. Who knows where the night shall take us? And if you're wondering, guys, yes, yeah, Amy is my twin. This is my twin sister, Amy. I totally forgot that most of you probably have no idea that I've got a twin sister. So this is Amy. So in case you're thinking, is that Amy? Is that Alice? But I'm hoping, I'm hoping you know the difference. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss 
Good morning guys, so last night you'll probably tell the vlog's going to be a little bit mismatched because the camera died on me again, like I have no idea how people do this whole vlogging thing and keep on top of it but I think I'm doing good, this is my second one so I think I'm doing well. So yesterday was a really weird experience because I was vlogging in the middle of London I was vlogging on the tube, on the escalator, and it's such a weird experience because really you're talking to a camera and you're surrounded by strangers, so it feels, it feels really uncomfortable. It's definitely pushing me out of my comfort zone. When I'm doing it, I'm like, what are you doing, Alice? This is awful. This morning I've actually borrowed Amy's gym stuff because she's taken me for a run. She's got this lovely little river down here and she's taking me for a run around the river. We're then gonna walk up to Alexander Palace and then we're gonna go and get some brunch and walk around the shop. So I'm really looking forward to today. This weekend is just exactly what I've needed. And I'm actually really enjoying doing the whole camera thing and trying to be, just bringing more of that creativity out that I was telling you guys about. So whatever you're doing this weekend, I hope you're having a gorgeous day. Thank you so much for watching again if you've gotten this far and thank you for all the comments on the last one because I was so nervous to post it like you wouldn't believe how nerve wracking it was to press that post button on Facebook so thank you so much. Whatever you guys are doing today, have a gorgeous day. I'm sending you so much love. I got you. You got me. We are two. How long should we do it? Too lucky You have always known When I need you the most oh -ho. See, we made it to the top We oh decided we're actually going to go and touch We're going to go touch the stars Just to prove that we ran you know all the way to the top My double flame whisper My soulmate sister You know you are Alexander Paris, I, Paris? I we ran to Paris. We've officially run to the top of Alexander Palace. I apologize if I look terrible, but I've been a nice badass. Remember when you were fine, every day by my side. So if you're feeling down or you're feeling a little bit like you need a bit of a pick-me-up, definitely just get up, just move your body, and just maybe go on a run, do some dancing. It is the best thing that you guys can do for your mental health, honestly, is move your body. My soulmate sister, you know you are, oh, every time life gets rough, you know you are, the one that picks me up, the one that fills my Me up. 